up everybody, this is Chris from kicksoncourt.com. Today we have the performance review on the Adidas D-Rose 4.5. Um, really wonderful model. One of my favorites from last year was the original 4, uh, the Adidas Rose 4, and it was actually my number 3 um, personal, like, out of the top 10 uh, for 2013. Same thing goes with these guys, I just absolutely love the shoe. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright guys, so this is the original D-Rose 4 and this is the 4.5. As you can see, uh, traction really hasn't changed at all. Um, personally, I don't mind that because I thought that this was just a fantastic setup. Um, it's good for indoors or outdoor use because it's a little bit thicker and more durable than the original Crazy Quick setup that had a very thin and uh, pliable rubber. Um, this stuff is just perfect. I play on some of the worst courts ever at 24 hour and then we have the outdoor courts and then some really clean courts from the high schools and uh, this, this surface performs really well no matter what surface I'm on so uh, I love how aggressive it is I love it's in multiple directions and I love the uh, next-gen pure motion here which is ultra flexible so at no point in time are you ever restricted letting you do whatever it is that you want to do on the court without any hesitation as far as the cushion setup same exact thing once again as the uh, original four um, it's a very minimal setup you have adiprene and the heel so there you can see the adiprene it's just a little crash pad right in the heel um, I wish that they would have still put that up in the front, maybe within the insole here, just put a little crash pad right there, but, um, you know, it's still comfortable for me. Um, this is a polyurethane insole, by the way, and I really like these. You can take these out and put them in other sneakers as well. As far as the materials are concerned, we do have sprint web. You can see the mesh areas here. A little bit of extra ventilation. And then we have synthetic overlays along with a synthetic leather underlay, which is something that I personally really preferred. I did not like the materials on most of the D-Rose 4s, and these guys stepped it up a notch. As far as the fit is concerned, they fit true to size, and the lockdown, in my opinion, is still on point with the original Rose 4. Uh, containment was their biggest attribute, in my opinion, and these work just fine. The heels were changed up a little bit. As you can see, there's just a little dip in the collar there. And then the GeoFit lining is a little bit different as well. I personally prefer this fit. Uh, in the back, I thought that this was really comfortable, and I love how the Geo Fit is lines all the way through, all the way to the bottom. As you can see, ventilation is quite a bit different on both shoes. Uh, they removed it completely from the forefoot on the 4.5, and then the medial and lateral sides are a little bit reduced. Um, I thought that these were actually going to offer a little bit more ventilation, but um, you know, personally I didn't notice any real difference, but these definitely have slightly less than the original Rose 4. As far as support, most of that's coming from that fit. Extremely supportive and contained. Um, your foot's really not going anywhere. The base is great. It's going to allow you to move naturally and you're closer to the ground as well, making you a little bit more stable. And in the back here we have the sprint frame as usual. And again, they shave down those sides so it's a lot more comfortable than all of the previous renditions. Alright guys, that pretty much takes care of everything for the Adidas D-Rose 4.5 performance review. Um, you can grab these now over at finishline.com. Still one of my favorite shoes. Uh, I just think that they're really comfortable for me personally. I like the minimal setup. love the traction and I love the way that it fits and contains your foot. So these are about 140 I think um, retail. So in my opinion that's a good deal. And uh, these definitely look a lot sleeker than the original Rose 4 in my personal opinion. I just think that this whole look isn't as weird and broken up as that whole like divided thing that they had going on last time. So thank you guys for watching and until next time guys, have a good one.